Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing my August favourites with you guys and just sharing all of the things that I have recently been loving for the month of August. I have quite a few things here to share with you. Um, I have been trying out so many new things recently and I've just been absolutely obsessed so I really wanted to show them and share them with you guys. So if you are interested to see what I've been loving for the month of August then just keep watching. So the first thing that I actually wanted to share with you guys is a beauty sponge that I have recently been absolutely obsessed with. This is the Real Techniques uh, face and body sponge. It is absolutely humongous. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but in comparison to a normal beauty blender, this is absolutely huge. I love it. It gets my makeup done so much quicker as well because you can cover more of the area with foundation in a shorter amount of time. I've really, really been loving this for both foundation and concealer, using it to set under the eye with powder as well. It is such a good sponge. It's really nice and soft as well. It's not hard, so it doesn't feel like you're, you know, really like pushing on the skin when you do it. You can just do it really lightly. Such a good sponge. Would really recommend picking this up if you guys can. I absolutely love it and I have picked up a second one so I do have two of these sponges now and I absolutely am loving it. So the next thing that I actually wanted to share with you guys was the new Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Now I have mine in the shade Swan which is the lightest uh, shade that they have I believe and I have really been enjoying this concealer. It is so nice on my skin. The formula is really good. has really great coverage. It blends out so easy. It can get a little bit uh, cakey and heavy looking if you do use it too much. So just be you know a bit cautious of how much you use. Same goes with the Shape Tape by Tarte. If you use too much of that it can look really cakey as well. But for this on my skin I love it. It lasts all day. It doesn't break up. It leaves that really nice finish on my face and yeah I've just really really been enjoying this one and I will definitely be picking it up in a darker shade as well. Um, it does come with quite a bit of product. It comes with 15ml of product which is about half the amount of a foundation foundation so that's pretty good. It definitely comes into um, comparison with the Tarte Shape Tape I personally believe. I think it is really nice. I actually somewhat think I may prefer this one over the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just because this one feels like it's a bit easier to blend out and it doesn't feel as like thick on the skin. Some people might say different but for me personally um, and yeah I just have really really been enjoying this one. The next thing that I wanted to talk about was this Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in the shade Light. I have been using this consistently lately to uses my eyeshadow primer. It's like a really nice lightweight moussey kind of texture so you put it on, blend it out and then just set it with a powder. It applies your eyeshadow beautifully. I have been reaching for this one over any of my other primers at the moment. Definitely a favourite and um, yeah I've just really been enjoying this one. If you guys have tried this let me know what you think about it. It is really strange when you put it on. It doesn't really feel like it's doing much and then once you set it it's just yeah a really really nice eyeshadow base. Next up I have a lipstick from Tarte and this is in the shade Beach Babe. This is the perfect nude lipstick. If you guys have tried this or have seen it in store, it is honestly just the perfect nude lipstick. It is so comfortable to wear. It's not drying. It has, it's not like a fully matte lipstick, but it definitely has some like movement to it. Like it doesn't feel like it's making your lips dry or anything like that. It is such a comfortable lipstick to wear and it is the perfect nude shade and I am absolutely in love with it. It looks good when I'm tanned. It looks good when I'm pale. Yeah, just a really great lipstick with a really, really good formula. Next up, I have a setting powder. This is the um, Invisible Finish Line Powder by Marc Jacobs. So when you open it, it has like this little net inside of it, which I think is great because it really helps to keep the product inside so that it doesn't get messy. You can go in with either your beauty sponge, which is what I prefer, or you can go in with a brush as well. And if that doesn't work, you can just like tap it out as well if you wanted to. It's kind of like a banana yellow shade, but it sets my makeup beautifully. I really like to use it to set my under eye concealer. It doesn't leave a yellow cast or anything like that. It is just a really, really nice setting powder. If you have tried this, you'll know what I'm talking about if, if you do like it. Um, but yeah, yeah, a really nice setting powder and I have really been enjoying this one. Staying on the topic of powders, I have also been enjoying this Kat Von D um, Lock It Powder Foundation in the shade Light 42. It is just a really nice kind of neutral shade, if you guys can tell. Sorry. Yeah, so it's just like a really nice neutral shade. I actually use this to set my entire face after I have applied by foundation so I don't use it as a foundation itself but I do use it to set the rest of my face. It adds a bit of extra coverage which I really enjoy as well and it's yeah perfect color for my skin tone as well. I do have a neutral undertone and this works perfectly. Next up I have a bronzer from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light. So I believe this is their lightest shade of the bronzer that they have. This is what it looks like. It is absolutely stunning on the skin. It does have a little bit of a shimmer in it as you can see but once it's applied to the face 
face. It just looks gorgeous. It's a really nice color. It's not too dark, so it doesn't leave you looking orange. Um, yeah, beautiful bronzer, and I've really, really been enjoying that one. So next up, I have a palette from Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. It is absolutely gorgeous. It comes with two bronzers, two blushes, and then two highlights over here as well. Absolutely stunning. I love it on my skin tone. Everything blends really nicely. The highlighters are gorgeous. This blush here is my absolute favorite at the moment. Everything just blends really nicely into the skin and it has such a nice color payoff as well. And as a bonus, it does smell like coconut as well. Next up, I have a highlighting palette from Makeup Revolution that I have recently picked up as well. These are the colors in it, and it is absolutely stunning. This shade down here in particular is my favorite, obviously, because I have pale skin. It does work the best for me. Um, I actually don't know what the name of this is. Once you take the card off, you can't see the name, but there is only two... Um, shades of this and this is the more gold toned one. I picked mine up on Glam Raiders. They now stock Makeup Revolution in Australia which is awesome so you get a really quick shipping time as well rather than waiting weeks for it to come from the UK which is where I believe it comes from. Um, but yeah the shades in this are absolutely stunning. Really buttery. So easy to blend. Oh my god look at that. I'm just obsessed. But yeah really nice color payoff and I would definitely recommend picking this one up. I have this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I am obsessed with this to take off my makeup. I picked up the little travel size just to try it out, just to make sure I liked it before I picked up the big one. But, oh my god, I'm obsessed. It's amazing. It takes off your makeup so well. You just take a little pea-sized amount, rub it in between your fingers, kind of melt it, and then it just takes everything off. It takes mascara off, lipstick, eyeshadow, everything. It is such a good product. I will definitely be picking up the full size once I run out of this one because, yeah, it's just, it is such a good makeup remover. Go along with that, I have also been using the Face Halo recently. Please excuse mine. It's absolutely disgusting from the amount of times I've used it. But again, something really, really good to take off your makeup up with as well. I just like to put mine under warm water and then just remove all of my makeup. It takes everything off really well. Not so much um, if you're wearing like a waterproof mascara. It does leave a bit of residue but go in with a makeup wipe or you could go in follow it up with this as well and it just removes everything perfectly. It is such a good alternative for using a makeup wipe rather than really rubbing at the skin. Um, yeah, really, really good. have really been enjoying this one. Next up I have two perfumes. So I have the um, Lancome Loveiest Bell, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is one of their perfumes. It is such a nice scent. It's kind of like a vanilla florally kind of scent. Oh, I've really been enjoying this one. People always compliment me when I wear this perfume as well. It lasts really nice on the skin and it's just a really nice perfume. It just, I think it's yeah, definitely like a vanilla kind of scent and yeah, I've really been enjoying this one. And the other perfume that I have been enjoying is the Lady Million perfume. This is such a nice perfume as well. I can't really describe what it smells like. It smells like very adulty, like very grown up, but um, it has a really nice scent behind it. Again, it sticks really well to the skin. If you're wearing it, I always seem to get compliments on this one as well. It just lasts really well. I can wear it for, you know, eight hours plus and I still can smell this perfume on me. It is um, more on the expensive side, but definitely worth a pick up if you're looking for a long wear perfume. Next up, I have a body lotion from Lush. This is the Sleepy Body Lotion. I love putting this on before I go to bed, which it is um, recommended to do so. It has like a vanilla slash like lavender kind of scent to it. I just like to put it on my arms and on my chest before before I go to sleep. Really nice and moisturizing. It has a really nice calm scent to it, which I definitely believe would be the lavender in it. But yeah, this is what it looks like on the inside and it's just it has a really nice smell to it and it leaves your skin feeling really nice and moisturized and it is very calming as well. Next up I have a lip balm. This is from Lano Lips. This is the 101 multi-purpose ointment. I have to wear this every single night before I go to bed. I cannot go to bed without a lip balm on. This one of recent has been my favorite. I can apply it. It's really nice and thick but not too thick where it's uncomfortable and I wake up in the morning and it's still on my lips. Like I can still feel the leftover you know moisture from it. Really been enjoying this one and I will definitely be picking up the bigger size next time. Next up I have a candle from Bath and Body Works. This is the White Barn bourbon and butterscotch scented candle. I have nearly used up the whole entire thing this winter especially. It has such a nice smell. It's like a vanilla slash butterscotch slash cinnamon kind of smell. It's kind of a bit of everything. Really makes the room smell really really nice. I've really been enjoying this candle. And the last thing I wanted to share with you guys is this jewelry cleaner for sterling silver jewelry. I will have a video up on my channel about how I use this but this is 
it's like magic pretty much. Um, I've been using it to clean my jewelry. It is definitely a favorite. I don't want to say too much about it because I am going to have a video up on it, but it has definitely been a favorite and would definitely recommend picking this up if you are able to. Okay guys, so that is everything that I have been loving for the month of August. I hope that you guys have found some things in this video that you have found useful. Let me know some of your favorites for this month and if you have tried any of these products that I have mentioned and if you enjoy them as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you guys go. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!